Hi guys, this is Wade from Wade's Orchids here, and uh, I want to show you a little bit how to handle Mastavalias that uh, need to be kept cool. Uh, one of the things that you need to remember is that this, this will cool it down, but you still need to get that temperature difference between day and night. Okay, we need probably a it's nice to have 10 to 15 degrees temperature difference. This is a, an intermediate growing Mastavalia. Uh, the name of it is Pinot Noir. It's a small grower, as you can see, uh, primary hybrid of Amplexa crossed with Calora. Okay, and I'm gonna hold that up there. And I'm gonna show you also, uh, here, see if I can, Hold it steady. I hope that the camera is picking that up okay. This is a very, very dark uh, seedling. Uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to move this, first of all, I'm going to take it out of here and uh, take a look. Uh, we, have, we have a fair number of good roots here. This is something that I've gotten in fairly recently. Um, and uh, everything seems to be okay. I'll, I'll get this up to you here again to uh, look at closely. We've got the, the live roots there are short, but we've got a fair number of them. And what I want to do here for, for this purpose is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into this three inch clay pot. So we're going to move it up a bit. Okay, first thing uh, that, that we're going to do is try to get a little bit of styrofoam peanuts. And I'll go over here to my peanut jar and just get a couple here. Uh, Styrofoam peanuts are very nice to use for drainage, especially in this kind of case. I go ahead and break them up a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good right there. Okay, so we have our styrofoam peanuts in there. Now, here we have our nice good quality New Zealand sphagnum moss. And I'm going to start by wrapping the root ball with that. Okay. Do a little bit of housekeeping. See a couple of old flowers down in there, a couple of old leaves, um, maybe just a little bit more. There we are. Okay, uh, this is a bit of a change from the way I have been doing this in the past. I, I used to just use straight New Zealand sphagnum moss. Uh, I found that I was getting some algae growth on the top in a lot of cases. Algae is very bad because it prevents air from getting down in through the top of uh, the media. So what I'm doing is, is I have a core here of the New Zealand sphagnum. I go and put it in here and then this is my basic seedling mix which is fine bark and number two perlite. It's four parts of fine bark, one part of number two perlite. And we're going to put a little bit in there and then put this in and just work around it. Pack it in there. So this, 
this will still stay very, very moist. But with the bark around everything and on top, we won't get the algae that has been problem, giving me a problem. So, that didn't take too long. So we have this potted in there now pretty well. That looks pretty good. And uh, that is, is ready to go. But now what we're going to do is, this is called double potting. Uh, put the tag back in here. I'll put a, the date on that I repotted in a minute. Uh, so, what I'll do is I'll move this out of the way, for the time being at least. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this and do double potting. So, how, how do we do that? Well, we come back here to our sphagnum moss, which is going all over the place on me. And I'm going to put bit of sphagnum moss in the bottom of this pot here. This is a, I don't know, it's probably actually a four and a half inch pot. But uh, I put just a little bit of sphagnum moss in there, okay? Now, we put this inside, center it, press it down real nice, okay? And then we have, this is, this is what I'm going to call a saucer. You can, it, it was uh, originally something for frozen food and that, but I'm, I've been using it as a saucer. And uh, we're going to put a little bit of water in this. Okay. And I hope you can see here, I have maybe just, just a half inch of water. And then you put this in here. Now what's going to happen is the uh, outside pot here is going to soak up this water and because clay evaporates rather quickly, uh, any moisture, it's going to cool things down because evaporation causes things to get cooler. Probably in this kind of situation, if you would have this in the home, I don't think that you will even need to be watering this because I suspect that, uh, now we, we have our, our New Zealand sphagnum moss between this pot and the pot that this is potted in. That is going to wick up a lot of water. And that will also provide moisture to this pot and the plant. So uh, if things go right, what we're going to have is almost a self-watering system here, which will make things much, much cooler for you. And the mass of value will be much happier. Uh, now something that, that you can do, uh, I wanted to make a mention of this that, because I've seen a lot of people uh, with, uh, light units growing under lights in the home and they will have their uh, drip trays or humidity trays what have you and they either just have water in it or they put those little uh, those grates in that you see being used for fluorescent lights in the ceiling or something like that which is okay if you want something better what you need to do is, is you need to get yourself some, uh, I, I like to use aquarium gravel, but it's, you need to use the aquarium gravel that is uh, almost like pea size. And you take that and you put about a half an inch to up to an inch of gravel in there and keep water in there, but below the level of the gravel. 
What this does is the gravel will wick the water up and it will provide an enormous amount of surface area for the water to, to evaporate from. You will get at least twice as much effect, if not more, for, with humidity it, and possibly cooling from the evaporation uh, than what you would with just the, the trays of water. It, it's much, much better. Uh, so, this is a little aid to you for Mastavalias on uh, how to keep them cool. I know with winter coming uh, that this is uh, not much of a factor, but there's a fair number of you have bought Mastavalias from me and other people recently, and I hope this will help you. So this is Wade from Wade's Orchids. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, uh, Click on the little thumbs up thing there, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one.